We're going to continue with our following subtopics, which is about absolute values. So first, let me introduce to you what is absolute values actually. So this absolute values is always positive. So can also be understood as distance. And then, for example, if you have a modulus of S, okay, absolute values always been signified by notation of like this to straight bar like that which are which is the notation so if you have the modulus of x that should be x in case of x greater equals to zero but then negative x if x is less than zero Right, because let's say if x is negative 2, so when negative 2 being substituted here, that should be positive also because it's always have to be positive. All right, and then another definition would be modulus a also will be equal to the square root of a square. Because when you cancel off this one, that should be a positive number of A. Alright. So now, let's look into a few examples. Let's say if you have a modulus of 3x minus 2, it can be defined as 3x minus 2, where, three, where our 3x minus 2 greater equals than 0, as well as it is negative 3x minus 2 if our 3x minus 2 is less than 0. Okay, so in this particular subtopics, there are two things that are going to be discussed all the way, which is the first one is equations, and then the second one will we will be discussing about inequalities as well. Okay. So let's look into the properties of absolute values first. So absolute values always positive. That's why we define that as greater equals to zero. So let's say if you have modulus three, it's always three. Modulus zero also gonna be always zero. So modulus of A is always the same with modulus of negative A. Modulus of A plus B would be equals to modulus B plus A as well as modulus of A minus B would be equals to modulus B minus A. And then another information is if you have modulus of the multiplication A and B, that would be the same with modulus A times with modulus B. It can be separated as well as this one. Okay, but for the fraction case, the modulus b at the denominator cannot be equal to zero. So let's look how how to solve absolute equations. So there are two methods to solve our absolute equations, which the first one by using basic definition. If you have your modulus at one side, and then the second one if you have your modulus in both sides of the equation, you should do squaring both sides. Okay, so we're going to letter on C what are these methods mean. So for example, this one, we have modulus x minus 3 equals to 7. So the way how to solve this is, first, we need to divide this into two cases. So first case, the one in the modulus remained. The one at the right here will be changing the sign. So first set is positive 7. But another set would be negative 7. So our final answer should be 10 as well as negative 4. Right? So in case you want to accumulate your x, please jot down in your final answer. But then, we also have to recheck. Okay, don't forget to recheck. So let's say if your x is 10, 
on your left hand side that would be equal to 7 modulus 7 which is also 7 which this one is the one that you want at your right hand side so 10 is accepted and then on another hand if you have negative 4 on your left hand side the answer would be negative 7 modulus so eventually this one also 7 which also equals to the one at your right so this one also acceptable so our final answer should be x equals to negative 4 as well as 10 how about this one so if we have one side we're gonna use basic definition eh? so basic definition is one side is positive another side is negative but then to make things easier we're having positive negative on the la on the right hand side here okay so first set should be x squared plus 3x minus 1 equals to 3 but then another side is with x squared plus with 3x minus 1 equals to negative 3 okay so we're gonna solve this separately so my solution one maybe here is x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0 so eventually i would have x plus 4 x minus 1 equals to 0 so here i would have x equals to 1 and negative 4 as well as i would have x squared plus 3x plus with 2 equals to 0 which eventually the factorization is x plus 1 x plus 2 equals to 0 so therefore having x equals to negative 2 and negative 1 okay but then please recheck as usual if you have x equals to 1 your left hand side will be equals to modulus 3 which at the same time is 3 which exactly what we have in our right okay so 1 is accepted how about negative 4 so negative 4 would provide your left hand side with modulus 3 also which eventually having 3 so our negative 4 also acceptable but then what will happen if you have negative 1 so negative 1 when you substitute in your left hand side that should be negative 3 modulus but then modulus negative 3 is 3 anyway so this one also accepted how about when you have negative 2 so negative 2 also on your left hand side negative 3 will be obtained inside that modulus so therefore it's 3 also so every of the answers here are acceptable so maybe you want to accumulate them so our x here should be equals to negative 4 negative 2 negative 1 as well as 1 list them all okay so move to our next examples okay so what happened if you have these two expressions or um, don't worry guys you just have to use your basic definition because this is also included in one side of modulus so therefore just rewrite the x minus 4 again remain but then with this positive another one is here will be negative 8 minus 3x okay so we solve this separately so it will give you the values of 4x equals to 12 so x equals to 3 how about this one you would have x minus 4 equals to negative 8 plus 3x so that 
would have 2x equals to 4 which eventually having value of 2 okay so for the sake of recheck when your x is 3 what will happen is your value on the left hand side is modulus negative 1 which is 1 but then on your right hand side it is should be negative 8 minus with 9 so that should be negative 1 so it is not the same with the right hand side so we actually reject this one okay what happened if your x equals to 2 on the left hand side we would have negative 2 modulus so therefore it's 2 but on the right hand side it should be equals to 2 also huh? so this one is the same so when it is the same we actually accept this so our final answer should be as equals to 2 only all right okay so for the next video we're going to discuss what will happen if we have both sides are with modular signs stay tuned <music>